Hello Year 2! Today we're going to be creating some more art using our primary colours red, yellow and blue again and we're going to be learning about pop art. Roy Lichtenstein was an American artist who was famous for pop art. He was born Roy Fox Lichtenstein in 1923 in Manhattan in New York, which is in America. And he was born to a Jewish family. They were quite a well-off family. This is him at age 16. This is him as a young man. And this is him in one of his studios. He must be about 40, I think, in here. And this is him in uh, another studio in, in his 50s. And this is him as an older man here. Now, as a boy, he liked to design model airplanes and he also enjoyed sketching and listening to jazz music. And when he was 17, he saw an exhibition of Picasso's work. Now, Picasso was already 59 years old at the time. So he was very well known and very obviously lots of modern art. So modern art was already a big thing, uh, surrealism. So he was influenced a little bit by Picasso and he went on to study art at university. But when he turned 20, a World War II broke out and he enlisted into the US Army and then into the Air Corps and he started to draw map, military maps um, during World War II. While he was in the Air Corps, he travelled over th throughout Europe and he visited many art galleries in England, in Belgium, in France and in Germany. And when the war ended, he returned to the United States and he became a teacher and started to teach drawing and design. Here's a picture of him when he was in the Air Corps in Paris. Now, he didn't really become famous or well known until he was in his 40s. And this was in the 1960s. And he was a bit of a magpie. He liked to copy other people's work. And he was influenced by comics and comic strips and illustrations. So here you can see a illustrate, an illustration from a book called Donald Duck Lost and Found. And he's taken this picture, this image, and he's turned it into his own cartoon drawing. Now, have you noticed he's only used the primary colours, red, yellow and blue, a bit like Mondrian. But he's made a nice cartoon, he's turned it into his own version. Here we see another cartoon, uh, it's an illustration from a comic in 1964, which he's copied into his own design. And you can see the same hand and brush and the same brush strokes with the drips coming off. And in fact, he did a series of designs based on brush strokes. Here are some of the examples. And also you can see he did uh, sculptures as well. Another comic strip here, a war comic from 1962, and he's copied this. This uh, design is called Blam. Now it's very similar. He's tilted it round a little bit, but you can see the same word Blam, the explosion at the background. You can see the pilot ejecting from the cockpit. You can see the number three on the plane, and you can see the stars on the plane as well. Another comic design here that this is the original from a comic and it's of a captain looking through a periscope in a submarine. No red in this one though, just blues and yellows and blacks. Another cartoon design here. This is called Masterpiece from 1962 and it went to auction in 2017. How much do you think it sold for? Well, it actually sold for $165 million. So Lichtenstein was a very famous painter and lots of people wanted to buy his work. But it wasn't just comic strips that he copied. He also copied people's paintings. Here we've got a painting by Picasso from 1941. And Lichtenstein has copied it and done his own version in those primary colours in 1963. Again here, we have a painting by Vincent van Gogh, 
uh, from 1888. This is Van Gogh's bedroom and Lichtenstein has copied it. Very similar. You can see the bed is very, very similar, but it's much more modern. You can see there's modern chairs, modern table. We've got a towel rail instead of a hook and we've got hangers, clothes on hangers instead of hung up there. He's also used lines in his drawing and little dots at the back and patterned flooring. Now, many of Lichtenstein pieces had these dots and they were known as Ben Day dots. That was named after a printer called Ben Day. And he used these dots to create shade in his work because he mainly only used the primary colours. So by using these little dots, he was able to create a different colour. Um, so the face almost looks pink, but they're still red dots. And on the lips, you can see that it's white dots with a red background. And that again has created another shade of pink. Now, this picture is called The Sleeping Girl, and it sold for $44.8 million in 2012. He didn't just use oil on canvas, though. This paint, this uh, design here, Girl in Mirror, is actually enamel paint on steel. Some more Ben Day dots here. He's also added in some lines. We've got Wonder Woman here and we've got a crying baby. Very cartoon like. But he's really well known for these um, large designs. Again, comic like comic strips, but they've got lots of words in them. And it's he's using onomatopoeia. Now, onomatopoeia is a, a word which represents a sound. So here we've got wham, because there's an explosion on the aeroplane. Here we've got pow, because there's a punch, crash, blam. Now he also did sculptures, murals and prints and ceramics. So here we've got some examples of his sculptures. We've seen this brushstroke one already. We've got a mermaid. And here we've got a sculpture that he was commissioned to do for the Olympics in Spain, in Barcelona in 1992. He's painted a car. There's a BMW racing car, which he painted in 1977. And he's also done lots of murals. This one here is a huge mural for the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, which he did in 1989. You can see how big it is compared to the people down below. Again here, another mural, very futuristic looking. And this was done in a New York subway, which is like our London underground stations. You can see it's like a, a futuristic train, again in the primary colours. Now, this was designed in 1994, but it didn't get put up until 2002. And unfortunately, he died, Lichtenstein died in 1997. So he never actually got to see his work on display here. Another mural here. This was done when he was 63. You can see him sitting on the top of the ladder here. Now, look, you can see how big this mural is. It's on the side of a building. If you look right up at the top, you can see this little sunset at the top, the blue and white sunset with the yellow sun. Now, he did a lot of these designs in his work. You can see some other sunsets that he did here. But today we're going to be doing some of his onomatopoeia designs. We're going to come up with our own wow word like wham, pow, crash, blam, and we're going to have a big explosion behind it. So what you will need today is some white card or paper, a pencil, a rubber, a black marker pen and some red, yellow and or blue pens. Or you can use pencils, paints and crayons. Now you need to think of an, a really good word for your design like wow, zap, pow, boom, slam, pop, cool, wham, crash. Or you can come up with your own. So once you've chosen your word, you're going to write it out on your card or paper in capitals with your pencil. So I've chosen the word POW. So make sure it's nice and big, but not too big. So you're going to be drawing around it. So P O W, and I'm going to give an exclamation mark at the end. Now don't press too hard because you're going to be rubbing this out later. Now you're going to draw around each letter. 
So this can be a little bit harder on the paper. So there's my P, I'm going to draw on the inside of the P as well. And then the same with the O. And again on the inside. And the same with the W. And my exclamation mark, I'm going to make that bigger as well. Like so. Now, all I'm going to do is just rub out the inside. So this is an easy way of doing bubble writing. That's it. There we go. And once I've done that, I'm going to go over it in my black marker pen. Now, it doesn't matter if I go over the lines because, again, I can always rub out some pencil afterwards. There we go, pow. Now, once that's dried, I'll, I'll rub out the pencil marks, so don't worry about that. Now, we're going to do our explosion behind. So we're gonna start out with some nice zigzag shapes. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to bother with a pencil. You can if you're not sure. I'm just gonna go straight in with my marker pen. So nice and sharp, going all the way around the outside of the pow like that. Make sure they're nice and straight, those lines, try and keep them straight. There we go, there's my pal. Now I'm gonna add some more zigzag lines behind like this. Not everywhere, just where I think I need them. Like so, I'm put one more there actually. I think that's it. Maybe another one there. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is have a nice cloud in my explosion. So I'm going to do a nice cloud going around the outside. Now I'm making sure that I'm not going over the bits I've already drawn. I'm trying to keep the pen away from any pen marks. I've already done. Now it doesn't matter if you go off the page, that's okay. And then just bring it around the top. There we go. Right, and finally, I'm gonna have some nice lines coming out the edge as well. So we'll have some sharp lines coming off the top here too. One, two, three, four. And then here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
It's cool. Now, if you've got space here, you could do some here and then a couple coming out of the top here as well. Right, the next thing for me to do is colour it in. So don't forget to add in some of the Ben Day dots. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all your Lichtenstein creations. <laughs> 